41 and verse 20 that they may see and know and consider and understand together that the hand of the Lord had done this and the Holy One of Israel had prayed to him. Right, so the hands of the Lord have done all what he said he might have done. Right. And we the children of Israel, yo, we have to rejoice tonight, man. Everything what the Lord said. Right. So the heavenly father man, was to the woman. <laughs> but the hands of the heavenly father man said, yo. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we are coming. And yo, we're, we're family them fainted right now. And the reason why them fainted, because yo, the oppressor deal with them so rash and hard. Their mind get mash up, them get frail, them get soft. Because yo, there was a guy called Thomas Tissot. That was a slave master down there in Jamaica. You see Thomas Tissot, you know him though? Yes, when this slave them run away, and in car them, Thomas Tissot used to do what? Get another slave with defecate in other slave mouth and run away and use soap in mouth so he can't spit it out. So you know what he must do? He must swallow that. So that's why we people get so scared. And that's why we have so much people around us. Every time we stand up and we start to talk about the oppressor, them get vexed because them are what? Host Negroes. Right? These host Negroes, what them love, them love master more than themselves. Right. But you see me? Me a huge Negro. Me come from a die hill. Right? Me never had a house. And that's why when we come out, that's all. No, Mr. No, Upon God, we have a time, man. Because no, no. my spirit is not that the old Negro. The spirit of old Negro, see them there? Right? Those are the ones, when they talk too hard, they say, yo, you yeah, hear me? We don't depend on that today. You see, we are living, Virgin. Better with us fool, you know, see? We are getting our little food and thing, man. Yo, Virgin, we don't depend on that, man. Yo, that's cool, man. Know that. But now, we don't depend on that. We are thinking about what the, the, the so-called master have done to my people that was before. We are thinking about the wickedness we have done. Me and I don't stop at me because it don't happen to me. Me, I'm going to leave it. Now, me, I remember my people, right. my generation, brother, right. and butcher. Right? If you do not have that spirit, you're nothing but a post Negro. Right? Right? We can finish that. That's all that's it. As in one pulling a net, they are full of the fury of the Lord, the rebuke of thy God. Therefore, hear now this, they are afflicted. The Lord saw the fear and now this, afflicted. And what? And jump. And now the jump on the philosophy of the slave master. I walk around with Thomas Tissot. All kind of pump when pump in the Uno. You know when pump in the Uno, when pump scared this in the Uno. So right now, the walk around traumatized. Right, when the first to stand up and make, uno, make people know that when an Israelite, I want to come to stand up on the foot and come to say, Yo, all of them done, it's coming back at the owner. Finish it. But not with wine. But we're not junk. We're not junk. Because we left with the philosophy. We the upon the philosophy of Yahweh, Shimei, and Shai, which is the right of the Bible. Right, that's what I'm saying. This is what Yahweh said, chapter 45. Like I verse 14. Thus said the Lord, thus said the Lord, the labor of Egypt and the merchant land of Ethiopia and the Sabians, men of stature. So the Lord said labor of Egypt. Egypt shall not become woke, right? Because yo, they work with hard. Right? right? The Sabians, the Arabians, they must become woke. Because they work with hard. Right? I remember what they have done unto it. And listen, we remember everything because the Lord is going to do it. The Lord going to put it back in our, in our brain. And make me know, say, remember your gold people, them. Remember, say, them people that do them all kind of things. So, yo, we are going to implement some new ways of inflicting faith from people, man. Right? Men of stature 
shall come over unto thee. They shall be men. The Lord said, men of stature shall come over unto thee. There shall be time. We are going to hold them, man. They shall be ours. Right? Read on. The father speak six foot, man. Read what? Sit it down, make it nice. He should not be at the Lord's time. Right? How would you come out there to drink them life out here, man? Read on, King. They shall come over and to thee in chains. They shall come over and they shall fall down unto thee. The Lord said, They shall come over unto thee in chains. And they shall all fall down unto thee. We know how to let know the Lord that the Spirit that is spirit to go down unto us, man. Because what? When we've been getting away with a lot of stuff. Read. They shall, they shall make supplication unto thee, saying, Surely, Yahweh is this, Yahweh is in thee. Every one of them are going to come and say, Surely, the Lord is in thee, man. Because, yo, how you stand up and do what you do, how you bring out the word and the heavenly father like how you do it, the Lord must be working with you, man. Right? So that's why we come out here and we never fear. We always come out come stand for the word of the Lord. Right? Exodus 14, 14. We always come out here and come stand for the word of the Lord. Right? And there shall be none else. There is no God. What is that? And there shall be none else. There is no God. There shall be no other power in this place but the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem and Shaiman. Right. And he already tell us, say, yo, there is no other God with him. Right? Because the heavenly father said, who? Him heal, him make a life. Right? Wait up, wait up. Give me a bit. Eh? Deuteronomy yeah, chapter up. 20 and verse 4. <laughs> for the Lord your God is he that goeth with you to fight for you against your enemies. What the Lord say? For the Lord your God is with you. He is he that goeth with you to fight for you against your enemies. So the Lord to is here. The Lord is here right now. Because yo, all of these brothers, before they touch the road, they have to pray. Right. right. And cut up clear crosses. Before we come out here, right, right, and when we come out here, come stand up and stand up with the word of the heavenly Father. It was that we had sharp crosses. You understand? So the Lord is here. So that's why we stand up out here. No fear, right? If you have fear, go in your yard, man. Right? We out here without fear, and we don't care what man can do unto us. Right? Give me that in the book of um. Now come to you. Read where you have came. This is Exodus chapter 14 and verse 14. Uh -huh. The Lord shall fight for you uh -huh. and ye shall hold your peace. What the Lord said? The, the Lord, Lord shall fight, fight for you and ye shall hold your peace. So that with the pun, man, the Lord shall fight for us and we shall hold our peace, man. Right? And that's why when we come, we stand up with the word of the Lord, man. And the Lord shall fight for us and we shall hold our peace. Right? Because, yo, give me the book of... Um, Philippians chapter 4 and start at verse 6 man. The Lord shall fight for us and we shall hold our peace. Right? No phone do not get no peace boy. Yeah? Right? What kind of peace do not get boy? Yeah? Yes, it's how they are depressed. Who not oppressed. Who not dog pressed. Everybody are trod down. No? Right? Who not are sick and never tell you to come over. Right? What kind of peace there, sir? No peace there, sir. Right? What would that? What would that? This is Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6. Uh -huh. Be careful for nothing. What the Lord said? Be careful for nothing. The Lord said, be careful for nothing, man. If you feel like say a boss a pass, I see your teacher word. Don't be careful for him. Don't even put on a job. Because he can't hear nothing. When he see again, he look by and say, excuse me, boss. He start to call your boss. Be careful for nothing. Read. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, uh, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to your hour. Right. Anything we want, man, we pray to the Heavenly Father, man. Make your request known to the Heavenly Father. Because, yo, the Heavenly Father know all things that we want. And the Heavenly Father going to make sure that so we're good. Right? And that's why when we come, we don't watch people, man. We just come humble and we come to do the work of the Father. And so when our time comes to do the work of the Father, we forget ourselves, man. We just want to remember the knowledge of the Lord, man. To keep on rings it, man. Because, yo, that's all we have, man. All we have is the knowledge of the Lord. To keep
keep on bring it out, man. Right? Let me second Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6. And give me the book of um, <clears throat> Second Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. This is Second Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 6. Uh -huh. Seeing it is a righteous thing with your hour to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. The Lord says a righteous thing, man. So how are you going to tell me be bygone, make bygone, be bygone, and forget slavery? It's a righteous thing, man. After you do all kind of things to my people, mash down my granny, mash down my grandfather, mash down my uncle, mash down my auntie. And you're going to tell me, say, oh, forget that. Forget what? That's right. Why should I forget it? Why don't you forget yourself? Huh? You want to walk around here and talk about, oh, I am the boss. I am the boss, what? You are nothing but basket, man. Right? Who don't want to give a basket for care water? Why it's not going to work? Huh? Basket care, care water? Free that. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. What the Lord say? And to you who are troubled, rest with us. So the Lord say, yo, it's a light. We do all the trouble. Come. Come rest with us, man. Come to the word of the Lord, man. Come back up to your heritage. Come find peace. Come find rest. We're not tired. We're not keep on going, going, going. But one day you're going to stop. A full stop coming on the way, man. Because what? We're tired. And I was sick and tired of buffoonery. We're sick and tired of lying. We sick and tired of work for the oppressor. We want the oppressor to come work for we now. Right? So we can drive him up the hill and down the hill. Right? <laughs> when the when the Messiah when the Messiah you know, shall, shall be revealed. Right, so the heavenly father shall be revealed, man. Right? So yo, give me the book of um, Colossians chapter one and start at twenty-six. Right, read the king. This is book of 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7. For Yahweh had not given us the spirit of fear. What the Lord said? For Yahweh had not given us the spirit of fear. The Lord not give us the spirit of fear. Else we wouldn't come out here. No. But what? But of power and of love. And right now I love we love the people my we out here. Love is a doing word. Love is an action word. So when your woman at that boat, I love you, and as you want, stretch out her hands up. She don't love you. She's a bank. Right? That's all she want. Full up her hand of money. When she says she loves you, she must have do things to you. Because love is a doing word. Love is an action word. Right? So don't come tell me about your love. The Lord saying, give us spirit of power. And of love. If we never love the people, who would put your life on the line? You think when we come out here, we come out here for play? We lived upon the line, man. But we don't care about this life. We care about the life to come. Right? Read. But of power and of love and of a sound mind. And we don't last with faculties. Here we attack. We attack and we attack conscious. Because we don't smoke the ganja. We don't smoke the weed. We don't smoke cigarette. We don't take the spice. We don't have no method in our body. Right? We kiss and clean. We don't drink. I drink with life away. We have a drink. But we drink in moderation. We don't plaster ourselves. Now. Nah. Over there, over there. Come here, have King. Romans chapter 8 and verse 15. For, we have, for ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit Received, but you have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Read that again, Salakia King. For you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear. Right, that's all. The Lord say, yo, we now re receive the spirit of bondage again. We come out of bondage line. Right. We are still up with the might of the Father, man. So yo, the spirit away now we, we say, we are the house Negro. Right? We are fields Negro. We hope the and I feel. I pray for Master House burn down. Right? And we are praying for Master sick. And sick to death. Right. 
We don't want to go like that. We are pack master for the box. I tell about go to bed. Go to dead. Right? Luigi. But ye have received the spirit of adoption. What the Lord say? But ye have received the spirit of adoption. And the spirit of adoption, Christ take us back and bring us back into his portfolio. And say, come servant, come work for me. Right? You check, say, Lord, we want to look at Papi show, not a mommy show. Saul was a big butcher. And the Lord said, come Saul, come work for me. So all of you bad boy, we are shoot people. Come, come work for you, Lord. How do you land one? Kind of heart ready. We don't have no fear of the mind. Right. We don't have no spirit of fear. How do the Lord want to come? Right? The chick said, Lord, we want to look soft. Squish up, push up. Guy, we're afraid of people. The Lord want warriors. The Lord want warriors to come stand up for you, man. Hold it, hold it. This is Collision chapter 1 and verse 26. Even the mystery which have been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints. So the Lord said, the mystery, what is in from generation unto generation, but now the heavenly father make it manifest unto his saints. And we are the saint, man. Right? Read. would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles. So right now the heavenly father make we know the mystery. And yo, a lot of our people becomes Gentile in their state of mind. Because they are child and they are follow the ways of the Eden. But the Lord tell us. But the Lord tell us man, learn not the way of the Eden. Read. Of, of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. The hope of glory, man. So, yo, we are the, we are the children of hope. And the only way we are going to get the hope, what is dishing out unto us, we have to come back to the wheels. We have to come back to the wheels. We have to come back to faith and of understanding of the heavenly Father words. That's how we can have hope. Right now, no hope no runner for me. What hope we have grown here? To work until we are 75. <laughs> what kind of hope that? Eh? Work until you are 75 and you get pension. What kind of hope that? When you are 75, you hold out. Right? And ready for dead. And they so they put it now. 75 is gone. Right? So yo, we know we have one and we'll call it out. Right? Because we have something. Yeah, read up, read up. This is book of Psalms 148 and verse 14. Uh -huh. He also exalted the honor of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel. You see that the praise of all of all his saints. You have something? Give me Psalms 50 and start at verse 4. The praises of all his saints, man. Are we a saint, I lord? Right? You hear them say when the saints go marching in. Talking about not everybody can come marching. Only the 12 tribe of children of Israel marching in. Right? So we make sure say, the march on our march on our going in our house. Right? Because we have the port we left outside. That for the Gentile. Right? So get it ready. I'm gonna march up into that. Right? Give me um, Revelation 11, 11. Right? Yeah. This is this is Psalms 50 and verse 4. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth that he may judge his people. The Lord said, yo, we shall call to the heaven above and to the earth where he may judge his people. Every time when the walk I push up Tom, what I'm doing on the Tom? <laughs> Gather my saints together. What the Lord said? Gather, Gather my, my saints, saints together. together. And we all take gathering the saints together, man. Give me the book of Genesis 49. Read. Unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the Lord said, Gather my saints unto me, those that have made a covenant by sacrifice. Right? So we, the children of Israel, the heavenly Father, make for himself. And said, so Those are mine. Right? I choose them. They are my saints. 
And we are the saints and we are disciplined doing the work of our father, man. Right? Hello, sister. You want to have a... You want to say something to me? You have a question? No, I have a question. Okay, you forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> tell him your tribe. Yeah. Tell him your tribe. Tell him your tribe. What's your tribe? What tribe? Yeah. Your mom is from where? Saint Vincent. Okay, so your dad is Nigerian. So what? Um, is he Yoruba? Igbo. Igbo. Okay, yeah. you're the children of Israel, man. Right. So basically, you know, Christ in you know, the line of Christ. So your blood brain and your sister. No make nobody come tell you about a family tree and you talk about say you look up DNA. The blood run now you run through Christ. Right. Read the have King. Yes, we could. Look at Genesis chapter 49 and verse 1. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Get yourselves together. What did the Lord say? Get Get yourselves yourselves together. Together. The Lord said, Jacob called unto his son Jacob and the progenitor for the twelve tribe of the children of Israel. And right now, Jacob are called unto us, the children of Israel. I tell us what we do, man. He might tell us, say, we we'll gather ourselves together. Just like what we're doing right here, man. Right? Read on. That I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. And the Lord said, gather yourself together so he can tell us what shall fall before us in the last days. The last days is now. Right. Children of Israel, we have to get our act together. And how you get your act together? You have to come back to the Bible. The Bible is our history book. And this is not nothing white supremacy. Yeah. This is the word of God where we have to come back and open our understanding and be obedient. Right? Read. Gather yourselves together and hear ye sons of Jacob. You see that? Gather yourself together and hear ye sons of Jacob. Read. And ark Israel your father. And arking unto our father man. Our father is Jacob man. And we love our father, man. And we are asking, asking unto what our father said. So we gathering ourselves together. So he can show us what's going to happen in the last days. And we are seeing it happening right now. Our brothers rising up in America, Canada, Jamaica, Come. China, That's right. St. Lucia, Come. Russia. Come. Everywhere we are rising up right now, Australia, New Zealand. Philippines, Gambia, Gambia, Ghana, Ghana Mexico, South America, South America, everywhere for Ghana, Ghana. Ghana. man. That's right. And these are the signs of the time that we, the children of Israel, it's our time to run the thing now. Because give me Esau at the end of the world, man. You have something? Read there. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. Uh -huh. Gather yourselves together. Yeah, gather together, our nation not desire. He said, gather yourself together. Read on King Wopanda. He said, gather yourself together, our nation not desire. And we are the nation not desire, man. Read on. Before the decree bring forth. Before the decree bring forth. Before what? Before the day pass as the, as the shaft. Uh -huh. Before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. You see that the fierce anger of the Lord coming. So why are you going to wait until the fierce anger of the Lord come upon us? No. We have to take heed and gather ourselves together right now. And save ourselves from the wrath of the Heavenly Father. Because the Lord coming with wrath, man. And it's not going to be a pretty moment. Right? That's it, then. Yeah? Before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. Uh-huh. Before the day of the Lord's anger come upon us, man. Right? Hello, sisters. Read it after. It's because Second Ezra chapter 6 and verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world. What did the Lord say? For Esau is the end of the world. Esau is the end of the world, man. Right? So we look it on the end time. Because now is the time where Esau is running things. So the Lord said, Esau is the end of the world. And what? And Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follow, man. So yo, Esau world coming to an end. And listen, Jacob are going to start run things again. 
right? Because in a certain time of Solomon, we ruled for 40 years. Big David ruled for 40 years. But no, give me ever, ever, ever. Daniel, right? Right, give me Daniel ever, ever, man. Because, yo, when Esau come out of power, Jacob has stepped in power like a real boss. Right? You don't matter about world boss, and hurt boss, and money boss. Real boss. This is book of Hebrews, chapter 10, and verse 25. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhort one another. And so much the more as he see the day approaching. Right, so we have to exalt one another, even esteem more than ourselves. Right? We have to make sure so yo, we all live good amongst each other. Right? And keep the love alive amongst virgins and among sisters. Right? We know have king. This is Daniel chapter 7 and verse 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take their kingdom. The Lord said, The saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom, man. And this is what we're coming after, man. We're coming to take the kingdom. And we don't come out here with the one bag of foolish, man. We don't come out here with the one bag of garbage. We come out here with might of the Lord to come and take the kingdom. Read that. And possess the kingdom. And what? And possess, and possess the, the kingdom. kingdom. And we come to possess the kingdom. When we possess the kingdom, we are going to give people work, man. We are going to tell people what to do. And if they're not listening, we are going to hope in the ground and bury them alive. Right? Just like what the Heavenly Father do and to Korah and his friends, them, man. The Lord hope in the ground and bury them alive. Because they're not listening to Moses. So the Lord said, yo, you know what? Uh, I go and do a thing that never been done before. Right? He hope in the ground and suck them in. Right. Read. And possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. And you see that we are going to possess the kingdom forever, ever, ever, man. I will love you. Ever, 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 ever. We're not coming back out of power. We go rule to eternity. We go rule to eternity, man. And that, we say, we are laying the foundation. All of the brother them over there in America. I help lay the foundation. Right. All of my brother, they right four corners of the earth. I lay the foundation. Forever, ever coming, man. Read it. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 2 and verse 44. And in the days of these kings shall the Yahweh of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. And this is the kingdom where I come. We're not going to be destroyed. Nobody going to be able to destroy the kingdom not coming. Who can stand up in front of the Lord and say you can't build up a kingdom? Nobody can stand up in front of the Lord. Because the Lord said what? The Lord in Exodus chapter 15 verse 3. Because the Lord said this man. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people. But it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms. It says the kingdom shall not be left to other people. But it shall break in peace and consume all kingdom man because this kingdom is what Yahweh Bashim Yahushai right. the hundred and forty four thousand running the earth man you're not gonna have more of a run over there so as you have an Elam a run over there so no it's gonna be Israelite kingdom all right four can I hurt right no more you over there, so me over there, so everybody are going to subject, Sean. Right. Everybody have to make sure, say, them be of themselves. And who not be of themselves? Yes, Listen, to bad luck coming. Bad luck coming. Yes, sir. This is Exodus chapter 15 and verse 3. Hello. How are you, you doing? You believe not the word of God? You know, you're yeah, Israelite. As long as you don't tell me about nothing about my trousers. So you're being hard headed then? <laughs> Don't say nothing about my charges because I'll correct you. You're being added. No, 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 no. Oh, you're correct me. The only way I'm going to correct you is that God said, you not wear what pertains to man. What is the one thing that pertains to man and it's not a dress? It's not trousers. Because before, back in Africa, men are wearing dresses. So what is the one thing that pertains to man? What is one thing that pertains to man? What is the one thing that pertains to man? Underpants. Run on. What do you mean? What is one thing? The one thing skin where you have, skin where a man have. What is 
Is the one thing that defines the difference between a man and a woman? One thing defines a man from a woman. No. This is a man is a Y chromosome. That defi differentiates a man from a woman. You don't argue. You ask me something, I'm tell you something. You ask me something, I'm tell you something. Because a man is a Y chromosome. That's right. A man is the opposite of a woman. Because? What are you saying? Because you're being hard headed, sister. Yeah, because the but Lord now, says. Listen, all right, give me the book. No, give me, no, me no, I'll show you something. No, no, no. I'll tell you. This book is Exodus chapter 28 and verse 42. And thou shalt meet them linen breaches to cover their nakedness. From the north even unto the tithe, they, they shall reach. So you see, it breach, linen breach. Something where it come down like a skirt, but it's not a skirt, it have a crutches. You understand? So, sister, basically, I want to go to sister them. You say for the humble, you say, sister, sister, listen, you can't interpret nothing because it broke. Looks for the Lord said, Give me that. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 20. Read that. And they shall be upon Aaron and upon his sons when they commit unto the tabernacle of the of the congregation or when they come near unto the altar to minister in the holy place that they bear not iniquity and die it shall be a statue forever unto him and his seed after him right so you see we are the seed after him you understand so at the end of the day sister we're not trying to get at you all we are the character you understand but you see enough of it we kind of you know why the so-called black woman don't want to take no argument from the black man because the thing is, it's a scene of slavery. When you watch the so called white man bust the ass, I want to stand up there and then rape on half. And we couldn't help you. Know? You understand? So that's why I look down upon us. But you see, right now, it's a different era. You understand? We come out of the Karako people because we love you. Know? You understand? The time of peace, fool that we went to, to us, it not going to happen again, man. Because the ladies look up to him because he's in authority. And woman love where the power lies. You understand? But the power lies with your God. And your God put you in the captivity in the first place because it's a good day. And you see, if we don't come back and be humble unto him, he may have to deal with it. And what we are dealing with right now, so, a humbleness with us so are push. Because you might hear me talk the way I talk. I talk with the Spirit of the Lord. You understand? And I have compassion for my people. Because the Lord tell me, say, give me Jude chapter 1 and start at 22. Right? <laughs> yeah. Now read this first. This is book of 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 20. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. Your sister, you said the Bible. <laughs> it it explains. <laughs> I was telling you what God was telling me. Okay. Okay. Correcting me one day on that intentional. Oh. Correct them. Okay. He said it was nothing to do with about about the dress. He said he doesn't want women to wear something that contains a, a strap on a penis. You know when lesbian women are, uh, holding dildos and everything is there. That's what he was talking about. I'm all I can do is correct people. I can't say. So sister. Oh, you know, okay. say it's a talk about dildo holding on them things. No, I'm, I'm talking about what pertains to man is a penis, right? <laughs> yeah? Am I lying? Oh, my God. So no, it's, 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 it's a weird. It's a weird. So it's if you go. <laughs> Prisa, sister, if I was out here in a mini skirt, what would you think of me? <laughs> so you see? There you go. So that's why when a woman of a cross dress. But in Africa, my, 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 people, I'm from, I'm from Africa. my people don't wear trousers. The men don't wear trousers. They wear dresses. Because they're indoctrinated a Muslim. No. So that's why they wear them things. Oh, way before a Muslim comes. Well, what are you talking about rappers and stuff like that? What are you talking about? Remember the Muslim wear them, them tall dresses. Listen, this is a Western thing. Trousers is a Western. Thank you, darling. Trousers is a Western thing, yeah? God was not talking about clothing. Obviously, he wants us to wear women to be more So, read 20, read 22. In this, 22. In, this world, in this world that we're living in now, in this world that we're living in now, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Deuteronomy, same one that we read, but listen to the verbiage, how it's worded. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. 
The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. You see? So it's talking about clothing. So sister, we can't get around it. Sister, we love you, you know. I love you, look. And you want to know, no? I love you, look. So why you take it hard? You take it hard for going out dress? You know why? Because in this day and age, a lot of women are getting raped. Trousers is the one thing that you can't easily pull up a trousers like you can pull up a skirt, you understand? So you're talking, I understand yeah. what you're but talking about. But you say you can't wear leggings underneath the skirt. That's right. You can't wear a legging underneath the skirt. Oh, you understand? I don't want to wear a skirt. Eh? I don't want to wear a skirt. But you I want to wear a skirt. You know the trousers get a masculine spirit. Yes. And that's why you stand up and talk like how you yes. talk. They say if you don't yes. want to dress you, that's feminine. And stay so. And I'm on stay so. I'm on stay so you see, when you have the masculine spirit there, you make my brother look by and say, you know, to charge up like a bulldog. Yeah, yeah, that'll be a single. So you've got to already put me in there, yeah? This you know, is Zephaniah chapter no, 1 and yeah. verse 8. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. So you know what's a lot of sacrifice? That I will kill him. That I will punish the princes and the king's children and who such as are clothed with strange apparel. So what's your apparel? You understand? Where you doing, sir? Matthew 1? He said, Matthew 12.42? Matthew 12.42. Right. Matthew 12.42. Right. This is the book of Matthew. Chapter 12 and verse 42. The queen of the south shall rise up in the judgment with this generation and shall condemn it for she came from, from the uttermost parts of the earth. Right, so the queen of the south that are about Queen You understand? Read it. Read To hear the wisdom of Solomon. Now who that are about? Queen of Sheba brought to Solomon to hear the wisdom of him. No, it's not like Sirach. Go on, anyway, carry on. Read it. And behold, a greater than Solomon is here. I can't read it with no one that's going to listen. It's a greater than Solomon is here. Right, but, but the thing is this though. Solomon was a wise man, right? And everybody at that time, Solomon ruled for 40 years. And at that, that time, our nation come to Solomon to hear his wisdom. So Queen Ashiwa went over there to hear his wisdom and she bring all kind of frankincense. Let me tell you time. The Queen Ashiwa is not who Jesus was talking about. The Queen of the South, when he said she goes to the, um, the king's um, King Solomon with wisdom, where is, where is King Solomon in wisdom? Where is it? Where is it? No, give me the book of um, First Kings, chapter 2. You've got to tell me that he's already shown. The book of wisdom. The book of wisdom. King Solomon of all the book in him. Proverbs. About Ecclesiastes, as a white nose on the Syrah. Let me tell you something. Chapter 2. Someone greater than Solomon is here, and I'm, I'm letting you know that now. I've spoken to the leaders of the nation. I'm trying to tell you, you're my brother, and I've got love for you. I'm willing to listen to everything. You respect my position. Someone greater than Solomon is here? Someone greater than Solomon. Who's greater than Solomon? Yeah, how about Shimia Shai? Queen Oso. Queen of the South. So, hold on, listen, Uman Agad. Queen of the South. Listen, Uman Agad. Listen, we are not dealing with queen, we are dealing with princess. That's right. You understand? I'm not princess for you. Because God the heathen deal with queen. God bless you. I'm giving you the wisdom. The lingo in it. God will show you in your All dreams right. today, yeah? God will God will show you two and verse today. one. Say wisdom of Solomon. Now the days of David drew nigh that he should die. And he charged Solomon, his son, next. saying, love I go the way next. of all the yeah. earth. Be love thou strong. Therefore, and she thyself a man. The Lord said, Solomon, David, tell him, son, said, go forth and show thyself a man. And the way you show yourself forth a man, you have to do the work of the Father, man. Read. And keep the charge of the Lord thy Yahweh to walk in his ways, to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgment and his testimonies as it is written in the law of Moses. Right, so, so Solomon walk as his father commanded to keep the laws of God and walk upright. Right? So we out here walk upright, man. Right. And nobody now go take we off for the uprightness. Queen of the South now go take we off for the uprightness. We deal with the Abba Shimmy and Shai, man. Yeah. Right? So yo, that's it and that, man. We can close on. And yo, give me the book of Psalms 121. 
Psalms 121. Psalms 121. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is, is, is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. And with that being said, we say, Kwame Asherala! 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 Kwame Until the next one, man. Shall I walk?